Hello people, today we are going to learn about intangible assets. So let's see. What are intangible assets? Non-concurrent assets without physical substance often provide exclusive rights or privileges, usually acquired for operational use. Useful life, will, life is often difficult to determine. So, uh, the examples of intangible assets are patents, copyrights, leaseholds, leasehold improvement, goodwill, trademarks, and trade names. Record at current cash equivalent cost including purchase price, legal fees, and filing fees. Intangible asset. Uh, amortize over shorter of economic life or legal life. Subject to a maximum of 40 years. Use straight line method. Research and development costs are normally expensed as input. Let's see what's goodwill. Occurs when a company buys another company. Only purchased goodwill is an intangible asset. The amount by which the purchase or price exceeds the fair market value of net asset acquired. So this is how we calculate the, um, the value of uh, goodwill. The amount by which the purchase price exceeds the fair market value of net, net asset required. Acquired. Eddie, let's see an example uh, to understand more. Eddie company paid um, 1 million to purchase all uh, of the James company's asset and assumed liability of 200,000. The, um, the acquired asset uh, were appraised at the fair value of $900,000. So let's calculate. What amount of goodwill should be recorded on Eddie's company's book? So fair market value of asset is $900,000. Debt and the liability assumed was $200,000. So, deducting the fair market value, um, deducting the liability from the fair market value of the asset will get the net fair market value that is $700,000 and the purchase price was $1 million. So, when you deduct the fair market value from the purchase price, that we will get the goodwill price which is $300,000. Patents. What are patents? Exclusive right granted by federal government to sell or manufacture an invention. Cost is a purchase price plus legal cost to defend. And amortize cost over the shorter of useful life or 17 years. Intangible asset trademark and trade names. A symbol, a design or logo associated with a business. Like this. Example is Visa. Internally developed trademarks have no recorded asset and cost. Purchased trademarks and recorded at cost and amortized over shorter or le of legal or economic life or 40 years. Franchises. Legally protected rights to sell products or provide services purchased by franchisee from franchisor. Purchase price is intangible asset which is amortized over the shorter of protected rights or 40 years. Copyrights Exclusive rights granted by the federal government to protect artistic or intellectual properties. Legal life is life of creator plus 50 years. Amortize uh, cost over a period not to exceed 40 years. Natural resources. Total cost including exploration and development. It charged to depletion expense over period periods benefited. Extracted from the natural environment and reported at cost less accumulated depletion. Examples are oil, coal and gold. Depletion of natural resources. Depletion is calculated using units of production method. 
unit depletion rate is calculated as follows cost minus salvage value divided by total units of capacity total depletion cost for a period is calculated as units of depletion rate multiplied by number of units extracted in a period total depletion cost also called inventory for sale consists of cost of goods sold and unsold inventory depletion of natural resources specialized plant asset may be required to extract the natural resources these assets are recorded in a separate account and depreciated the units of output method the cost per unit of output is equal to cost minus residual value divided by estimated units of output depreciation expense is equal to cost per unit of output multiplied by number of units produced Uh, this is Marks method. Let's see how it uh, works. It it is also called modified accelerated cost recovery system. Based on declining balance method, the only accelerated method allowed by IRS when computing depreciation for tax return purposes. Asset cost multiplied by Marks rate. Uh, rates are available for tables provided by the IRS. Which depreciation method do most businesses use? As seen here in the survey, we, uh, most businesses use straight line method because it is very easy uh, to calculate and remember. Uh, uh, I hope you got some idea on what is intangible assets and how to calculate the depreciation on the intangible asset. Uh, so, come back to my channel for more videos on accounting and thanks for watching.